Hello and welcome. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial for installing the TR WinProg software and the TR USB programming adapter on a Windows XP PC. The first thing we're going to do is load the CD that came with the adapter and we're going to install the TR WinProg software. Download that. Save it to our download directory. run the executable setup file. But this is actually going to install in German, but I will direct you to it. You just got to remember that Viter with a W is next. There you go, Viter. Just keep clicking Viter and Ja all the way through. Looking for a standard install. And there you go, the software is now installed. And the next thing we're going to do is actually plug in the programming adapter. Now that is the adapter and USB cable to the PC only. No ribbon cable or power supply at this time. You should see the new hardware found pop up. And there we go. Our serial adapter and the wizard starts up. And we're just going to do this manually. So no, not at this time. Next, we're going to select from a specific location is the program file trwinprog usb driver version a360 is what we want. And we'll just continue here just for the usb module. And there you go, it's installed. Now we're going to have to do this over again because you can see that it finds a usb serial port. We're going to install the driver for that. Exact same process. And it should be auto populated here for you. And just click next. And there we go. So the drivers are now installed. We're going to go to our uh, device manager got control panel, system. Okay, and device manager. And you'll see under ports that the TR serial port is there and it is uh, assigned COM4. If for some reason it's anything higher than 10, you're going to want to change that. You can go into your advanced settings and just change that to whatever COM you have available. Okay, and if we scroll down to the U Universal Serial Bus, this is the bridge and it is TR USB module. That's, the, that's what you want to see. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open the software. We're going to configure it to communicate to the adapter. The extra tab, global, we'll select COM4 here, change it to English, and we'll change the COM DLL to the TR adapter. We want to make sure that it is COM4, there we go, we'll save it, click OK, now we're going to try and communicate to the adapter. We click on the red reciprocating arrows, and that will connect to the adapter, online, offline. There we go, we're online now, so we'll go to basic parameters. This is where you want to tell the software what encoder you're going to be communicating with. Is it a WinProg encoder or an EPROG encoder? So we'll switch it over to EPROG here and download it. And there we go, we're ready to communicate to an EPROG encoder. Just switch it back here to TR WinProg, 6600 baud, and we can download it. And now you can communicate to a TR WinProg encoder. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for joining me today, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call at 800-265-9483. You can send us an email at customercare at trelectronic.com, or you can visit our website at www.trelectronic.com.